We've all seen AI music generators like Suno and Udio. They're amazing, but let's be honest, what you get is pretty static. You can't fix the mix, you can't drag a MIDI note, and you definitely can't produce it. That's where Mozart AI comes in. Think of this as if Suno and FL Studio had a baby right in your browser. It uses high-level AI to generate stems, but it gives you a full timeline to edit, chop, and mix them. And today I'm going to show you how to build a track from scratch inside the DAW of Mozart AI. I've dropped the link in the description so you can go sign up and follow along. Here we are on the home page. Let's select this empty project button to go straight into the DAW. And here we have our blank canvas. Let's build a lo-fi hip-hop track step by step. First we need drums. I'll select the new audio track we have and go to the track agent. This is your AI co-producer. I'm going to type lo-fi hip-hop drums, dusty kick, snap snare, 90 BPM. And here we go. Let's listen. That swing is nice, and we have it looping for eight bars. Now for the chords. This is where Mozart beats the competition. I'm adding a second track. In the track agent, I'll type jazz piano chords, melancholic, Rhodes texture. Because we are doing this in the DAW, the AI is actually listening to our drum track to match the rhythm and groove. See that? It's not just a random sample, it's a context-aware generation. Let's ground this with some bass. I'll prompt for a deep sub bass simple groove. It sounds a bit thick, but check this out. Unlike other AI tools where you're stuck with the result, here I can edit the audio. I feel like the bass is playing too many thick notes here and there. I'm grabbing the scissors tool and I'm just going to chop these couple notes out from the clip. Boom. I just manually edited the AI output to fit my taste. That is a game changer. Let's add a melody. I'll generate a muted trumpet melody. It's nice. Now if you want to regenerate any part from a track, you can also do that. I'm going to highlight just the last four bars of this trumpet clip and hit Get Improvisations. This is basically in-painting for audio, and the AI is regenerating this part for us. Let's hear it now. That sounds better. You can also manually give instructions to the AI without giving it all freedom by selecting the Describe Changes option as well. Finally, a real studio needs MIDI. You aren't limited to just audio generation. You can click Add Track, and this time I will choose to add a MIDI. And in Settings, you can open the built-in polysynth, and you can select a preset from the list, such as Bass Synth, Sharp Lead, or even Electric Keys. You can play chords directly on my keyboard, or draw them in. And just like a professional DAW software, in Mozart AI, you have a lot of customizing options on the interface. So we just went from a blank screen to a fully mixed, editable, lo-fi track in minutes, building it layer by layer. This is the power of the Mozart AI DAW. You aren't just prompting a song and hoping for the best, you are actually building it. I've linked it in the description. Go create an account and try the DAW yourself. And if this was helpful, hit that subscribe button to AI with TechSnap as we uncover the best AI music tools every single week. I'll see you in the next video.